Yeah, I want to right. lay all another right. trap for me. Right, fine. There's not a trap at all. This is a. This is from. Uh, this is, again points out the essential contradiction. This will be the first show contradiction. We yeah. and there is a contradiction, right? You know, I know. I'm he preaches sure. against materialism, but fills his garage with a Rolls Royce, a new Cadillac, a new Lincoln, no. a new camper. Two Rolls Royce. Two Rolls Royce. <laughs> Now, uh, now, uh, I'll tell you another thing. Now, I wish he was here, the man who wrote it. Well, I preach it. against material things. Yes. When have I ever preached anything against material? I don't preach against material things. I teach our people and our religion that heaven is not on earth. I say heaven is not up in the sky. I mean, heaven is on earth. Hell is not underground. Hell is on earth. The white man has told you heaven is in the sky and hell is underground, and he takes everything in the middle. He's got all the factories, all the hotels, all the motels, all the electric, the land. I say heaven is a good condition on earth. This is what we preach. I don't preach this material things. And another reason I have material things, not because I want them, not because I see a watch today I want to buy in the uh, Hilton Hotel. The watch costs $6,000. I'm getting a watch for a reason. I have my Rolls Royces for a reason. I have the things I buy for a reason. Black people in America, I'm ready for you. Black people in America do not respect, even the world, people, the average man out here. Why am I on your show? What George Foreman? Why can I get up and talk so bold on TV? Because I'm the heavyweight champion. If I was just another nigga out there working, I'd wash some dishes, and what my, my opinion don't mean a damn thing. I know right, that. Right. But let me tell you another thing. Why do I buy pretty cars? Because all of the educated people we're trying to convert into the Islamic faith. The thing is, you all don't have nothing. Elijah Muhammad, our leader, used to have a little old house, a real house, trying to be humble, and all the Negro preachers of Christianity will say to their followers, how can Elijah Muhammad be from God? He lives in a shack. Shouldn't God be able to bless him with a nice home? He wanted to be humble. He could have had a big home. He drove a little old car in his younger days, trying to be humble. But they think you don't have nothing. People don't respect you when you look like you don't have no money. So I got to buy diamonds. I got to be the heavyweight champion. I got to have a Rolls Royce. So when I pull up to that other black man with a Rolls Royce, hey, my brother, come on down to the Muslim temple today. I want you to hear the sermon of Allah. Oh, uh, he, it's a pretty car. Mm, where that watch come from? Oh, my man. Come on over. And they listen. You got to have something. Most people will join a church. You get a Catholic church, any kind of church, and build a church and put gold seats in it, put diamond carved speakers on the wall, put carpet in that church, and watch how many followers you will have in your church. Let another man preach a better word of God, let him have a little house with a storefront, and he won't hardly have no followers. People are in this world, we love wealth. They respect people with money. So I have to buy these things, line them up. I'm fixing up a home in Chicago, English style house, 14 bedrooms, 60 years old. It will cost a million dollars to build. I paid a hundred thousand for it. I'm putting all new furniture from Beirut, Lebanon. It's going to be a plus plus house. I'm never at home. But when I invite people over to talk to me, and they ding, punch the bell, dong, 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 dong. And my chauffeur come the door. Oh yes, uh, Mr. Ali, be out in 20 minutes. I have to sit upstairs for 30 minutes and make him wait so he'll appreciate me. <laughs> I don't run. I don't run the door. I don't run right to the door and answer him. You go to meet Queen in England, I bet you. You don't walk right in and meet the Queen. You sit there for a while and they take you to this room and you sit there. For, Queen's probably sitting there watching the news. <laughs> but make you wait. Make you think about what you're going to do. You go meet a president of a country. You don't go meet the country. They show you what he's building. They let you see what he's doing. And then when you meet the president, you realize who he is. So I'm trying to convert. I'm trying to wake up my people and help them. So I have to have these things, otherwise I'm broke. He's a Joe Lewis. His managers take all his money. He made five million. He don't have nothing. Now, that's why you see these cars and stuff. Mm. Any more tricks? 